now let's uh, provision our mongodb this is the yml of the mongodb here we are providing the version as 4.0.11 and also the replica set name as replica set and we are going to provision three members replica set so we are providing replica set three as we are turning on three ls on this database so we are providing ssl mode as required ssl in the tls section we are uh, providing the issuer reference uh, which is a SAT manager issuer this is the issuer um, yml here we are providing the ca secret name for mongo ca this uh, secret contains the csr 10 ca key also here we are providing a certificate uh, to configure the client certificate here we are providing a demo email address so we can see that our certificate uh, after creation contains this email address we are providing a config secret here uh, this config secret contains uh, this uh, uh, database configuration uh, in the mongodb confine so this is uh, max income we are setting the max incoming connection as 100k <coughs> also we are setting the pod resources as one core cpu and one gb memory also we are Going, are going to have a storage of 1 GB in all of the node. Okay, let's apply the YML. So as you can see, the database is now in provisioning state. So our MongoDB community operator will bring up all the nodes and the uh, QDB enterprise operator will and set up that certificate and TLS of this database. Here you can see we have two service. Uh, this service uh, always points to the primary of the replica set, and this service always points to uh, all of the uh, nodes of the database. Let's wait for the database to become ready. The certificate already created, so we can check the certificate. As you can see, there are three certificates created. A client certificate, which will use to connect to the uh, connect to the database. The server certificate, which is used for the communication between the nodes. Now let's uh, check the certificate content. So this is the content of the certificate. As you can see, the email address is abc.com as we have provided on the YML. So our database is now in ready state. Now we will connect to the primary of the replica. As you can see, the primary port uh, IP is 70, which is the first port. So we will connect to this port. We are executing to the port. Uh, KX is the short shortcut of KubeCTL exact ID. So we are connecting to the database shell uh, so uh, kubedb creates the user uh, with the certificate subject so this is the subject name so it uh, we can authenticate the database using the uh, client certificate and this user without any password okay let's connect to the database shell so we are now connected to the primary database shell 
now let's check the uh, configuration that we have provided So as you can see the max incoming connection is uh, 100k as we have provided now let's uh, insert some data let's uh, creating a database name to qtb we are inserting some data in a test uh, collection So we have inserted two data as per the So two data inserted successfully.